Okay, about to start turn one of reds. And before you start the game, you have to do some, you know, some checks to see some events that will affect the rest of the play. And one of the more interesting ones, and rare to occur, but it happened this time, is you see Tsar Nicholas II is alive. Uh, at the beginning of the game, white forces roll a d6, and if you roll a 1 out of 6, the Tsar is actually alive and was not killed by red forces, he's actually rescued. And that allows you to automatically rally one white unit um, on strategic turns, or, or actually logistics turns, which is a huge benefit. Um, otherwise, you have to roll a die and get a 1 or a 2, um, which can be very difficult. And actually, for this turn, we also had to roll for random events. And the two random events I got were the AIF offensive, which means that allied forces that normally can't attack can this turn, and the Semenov Cossack raid, which uh, makes it more difficult for the Siberian forces to rally. So it's actually really nice that I got the Tsar because it's going to let me uh, hopefully, hopefully recover some losses I will have to take uh, inevitably as I try to seize the people's gold here in Kazan. Um, you can't see it there. Let me try to actually move that. Guy, where is Kazan? Oh, there it is. So you want to take that, you see there, there's the Imperial Gold. We'll try to seize that. If we can, it's worth a resource uh, point, which we desperately need is the Whites. So that's going to be my first objective, and I'm going to take some forces up here and position them to get the best kind of attack odds and uh, the best kind of defense for the inevitable response, because as you can see, the Red Army has, you know, some forces right there. So you do have to worry about counterattacks. But the AIF JIT, as I discussed earlier, lets these forces uh, that kind of hang out up here, uh, lets them go and attack. So I actually may move out and try to take that garrison town and take this unit and begin moving them down the rail line so you can become more effective in uh, future turns, which would be great. Then we'll have to see what kind of JIT comes up next because the white player goes first and... Um, if a logistics chit is pulled, then we can definitely see that these two armies, because they're not in supply, they will be reduced, which would be very nice for white forces. But they could also go first and cause some damage over there with the Turek Cossacks and uh, attacking them. So we'll have to see what happens here, but this is the initial setup, and uh, I'll have an update after a few uh, chit pulls in.